tell us the Olympic spirit, uh, yeah. spirit of representation is just something they can go with because it's about a team that swallowed very many goals, but that's uh, Vision FC, but that is something to go back to and try to rectify then and come back uh, better and stronger. For me, I think uh, that that is very good bands. It is actually uh, a step ahead in developing women's football. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, I remind you we've, we've been showing women's football on um, television in Uganda for the first time this year, and uh, we showed you the, the FUFA Women's Super League. And uh, Fifi, I, if I quote from the Super League, yeah. uh, the teams that played Group A yeah. left and came back to play the quarters and were dumped. Were, were dumped. Kawempe is one of those. Yeah. Now, Kings of Kings, a while since they last played quality football, competitive football. Yeah. These two teams, by the way, a while since they last played competitive football. Yeah. But of course, Punyaruguru played competitive football much after um, the Kings of Kings are done. Yeah. Do you think Kings of Kings maintain the same form they I are in? I think it's a two-way traffic. Uh, they know uh, they have been here before and they know uh, what they need to do uh, because they have gotten enough foresting time, but I guess they have not been just sleeping. They have tried to nounce uh, some injuries and then try to fix here and there because, like we had, some of them were injured. Then for Munyaruguru, uh, with their kind of play, because when you have a Katusabe Harima, Negwen Juliet in the midfield, and then the partnership, Musmenta Aldrin and Akirol at the backside. That's have, Nyaruguru, eh? Eh, that's as well Nyaruguru. as Nora Rupo. Yeah, as Nora, Nora Rupo on the right. Uh, those are some of the players that can try to steer them, but like you said, those who rested more again from it are little better, but they need to be prepared because you could uh, rest less but are more prepared than those who rested for a longer time. So those watching from Popoto and, uh, and Rubirizi, you say as well, Vidaruguru comes from, yes. please keep it on UBC TV because uh, this game starts in a while and Pirotai will come with commentary alongside Fiona Pink and Amiro and I remind you in case there is a draw after no more time we go straight into penalties. But first the 45.
King of Kings up against Bunyaruguru. Surely that is a game that is uh, 
taking its toll on this one. Roda. Look at that ball through and collected very calmly here at the back zone as Bunyaru Guru. Love to go back defending. Roda doing well. Be a throw in again to the ladies of uh, King of Kings who will be trying very much if they can uh, qualify for the semi finals. Arresting time before coming into this encounter. They've shrugged off injuries, knocked them off a bit, and they're in better shape to take on Bunyaruguru, who also got ample time having played a week earlier than most of the teams in Group C and Group D. This is a good throw from Penina away by Juliet Neguon, and intercepted away there by Aldrin Musimenta. Ball dilly dallied around the midfield there. Good play earlier on by Sylvia, but now. Flicked away. Nyaru Guru trying very much to see if they can swing the balls from one side. As they pile the pressure up. But unfortunately, ball just goes away for a throw in here to King of Kings. Long throw from King. Actually, this game is a Western Ugandan derby, you have to admit. Yes. Nyaru Guru, King of Kings. Luvirezi and... Uh... Ooh, touch. Nick that ball through. Trying to pass that ball through one-on-one -on -one and the referee doesn't want that for the free kick here this time. Free kick here to... So King of Kings who are trying to begin this very quickly again. Swept away there by Kaheru. And I look Akiro, Irene shall be the one to shield and shield that ball very well. The student of Gulu University there doing perfectly well. Could be a goal kick here to hey, hey. collected very calmly. Long ball there from uh, Bambo a while ago. The chance is on now inside the D, but they get themselves a corner. Very good pressure, very, very good pressure indeed here from uh, the ladies all the way from uh, Bunyaru Guru. Yeah, they have quick uh, feet and uh, they have pace. Alupo Nora and Imbabo Bridget. Uh, the ladies okay, operating on both uh, the, uh, right and uh, left uh, flank. Alupo Nora sometimes causing problems uh, for the opponents. Get it away and we'll be going back through. Well, they keep the ball on play, Bunyaru Guru. But the referee actually puts the flag up again for an offside. The delay to receive that offside flag that is uh, the referee's assistant. Or well, they want it started slightly where the flag is. Free kick. All sent through here. Slight tackle. Okay, oh, actually becoming more physical. You have to admit, more physical it is. And uh, that is uh, Kagasha Shadia being worn by the center referee. Yeah, she operates on the right. A right back uh, position. Uh, she robs sometimes from there and between her and Noah Arupo they keep exchanging on who goes forward and who remains to defend. You can see the pavilion, the other two teams that will play later are already sitting there smartly dressed in their uniform, something that is good for branding. Pull up front by Oliver. Cleared away there by Katusabe. Long ball it was there by Naimana now collected on the wing side Alupo Nora this is Alupo with a cross ball through but straight to the arms of the goalkeeper Kar Kirunji a good hands there for Diana Kirunji whose brother also by the way is a, a footballer you have to admit so it is a family of footballers the parents must be very lucky well the brother does play for Toro United Toro United ball okay. up front long play there from Sharon the ball will be let to go to Namaganda. Just about 10 minutes of this one played here. It's Namaganda. Esther to deliver this away by Namaganda. Trying to pick up the pieces here as the chest keeps on. Tweba the road are trying to close in, but uh, Penina will be the one to crop that ball back behind. It again, Penina.
Nice play onto the wing side. Looking for Bambo. And collected here. Ball driven to the far side. Here comes Aldrin Musimenta. Looking for Neguon. Another big clearance there from Musimenta. Forward ball it goes. A goalkeeper could be in trouble here. <laughs> she has the right height for that. And I and think it is a timely that as she did that, you just look at her because it was a, a little bit teasing for her. Very high and she didn't know where it would drop. But the anticipation from her is the right one and very good decision making because she realized she's not called it from such an angle and decided to just have fingers on it way above the poles. Ball four four in the box, now swept away. Away by Akiror. My ball will be going out for goal kick now, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to be a throw here for Bunyaru Guru. We're putting a lot of pressure on uh, the King of Kings there. Goalkeeper Chirunji Diana. We'll try very much to see if she can uh, keep a clean sheet today. Flick ball through and driven up now. The chase is on looking for Mbambo. Kiroor finally away there by Karo. The one passes. The ladies in black will try to squeeze their game in. Now it's a throw in again here to Bunyaruguru. Just about 13 minutes of the game played. Throw here by Kagasha. Stolen away, fair and free at the midfield there. Bunyaruguru with the attack. This is Oliver. It's away there by Kawachari. This is good football now. This is a run through from Sharon. Nicking that ball through, but read away well by Kagasha again. Pressure keeps on piling up here. Bunyaru Guru on the defense. And now they steal the ball fair and well. Bambo away. Yeah, they come now inside the D. Is that a penalty? Referee says no. It's a good game here. Both teams actually trying to square off now. Aluponora. Foul. Yeah, good game it is, and Bunyaruguru being the team that is pushing more forward, uh, they have uh, commanded the midfield so well, uh, better than their counterparts. And uh, I don't know what's going on between the referee and defender, but that is a long one that gave the keeper problems earlier on. As we see, there is a player down who needs medical attention, referee just standing nearby, and uh, Bunyaruguru will have to take their free kick afterwards. They have been the better offensive side than Kings of Kings. Oh, could be a problem with the chest cavity there. Could have taken a slight knock. You want to miss a game at the quarterfinals, trust me. You really do not want to do that, but the uh, medical team has been doing very well in the recent of days, so sure that the ladies will be able to continue the game perfectly. That is Katushabi Halima. Their goal a poacher. I think this is where the was a foul. Oof. Oh, she actually landed very awkwardly. Yeah, she did land very poorly. She will need to get more attention on that one. But there's a free kick that is looming here. Naimana Esther could be the one to deliver this one. She's keeping an eye on uh, where to deliver this ball, Naimana. Just about 15 minutes of the game played already. This is Naimana cropping that ball deeper. And loses everybody and goes away for a goal kick here now to the King of Kings. Watch out, Diana! Kaheru. This was the free kick. Was it a very bad one? If only she had kept it a little bit low, it would have been a difference. But uh, it was kept higher. Oh, this could be dangerous because here comes Sharon. 
Nyigina Sharon with the chest now. Sharon again. Lost it through, but unfortunately goes away for a goal kick. She was demanding a free kick, Sharon. I don't think if the referee would actually award that. But well, she's such an interesting footballer to watch, Sharon. Very pacey, very clever. There's a couple of uh, goals to her name in this competition, Sharon. Throw in. A free kick at the backside for the Kings of Kings. They will take it very quickly as we hear the Nyaruguru coach instructing Negwen Juliet to mark tightly and not allow them space to get the ball through because it will be dangerous. Nyaruguru will defend well. Big kick away from their own half. Well, more for Bunyaru Guru, swept away by the King of Kings. Bunyaru Guru players, including their goalkeeper Namangana Esther, are players of Lady Dubs. Some have been given, been given to them on permanent basis. The rest are still on loan. He realized that that region itself is endowed with very good are players because Lady Dubs itself has already won the league and these ones are on their way to the semi-finals if they play better Punyaruguru Football Club so that shows a very good crop of players coming in from that side throw in here Kobogabe throws that ball in very long driven away again into the mix line and that goes away for throw in again Carroll throws that ball long. Collected at the midfield, driven up perfectly now. And repossessed here gallantly and stolen away at the midfield. It was good play from Aine Adela. Alupo. Kabachari. So we're there by Akiror. And just easily put away for another throw in here to King of Kings. Not poor control, very, very poor control there from uh, King of Kings this time. It's going to be another chance to get this ball rolling up here for Yaru Guru. Yeah, that's Coach Nyanzi Medi. Was in charge of was it Busitema University before deciding to help out Bunyaruguru if I have my facts right with me a great coach uh, to lead them here and you love a coach who sticks to their style no matter the storm well is Alfred throw in and they'll be looking to pick up the pieces now this is going to be brought in by Juliet Neguan will be looking to deliver this ball very quickly Well, referee wants a word. Could be in trouble, Alupo. Oh, she actually receives a yellow card, Alupo. Not very new to those yellow cards, nor Alupo, the striker for Bunyaruguru. Goal kick now, sorry, free kick rather to King of Kings. And uh, Katusabe Jennifer will look to go slightly. No, actually, it's Kaheru Florence rather. Chased by Alupo. She keeps that ball in play. Nora Lupo, blessed with two legs, and continues the run. And collected here by Roda. Juliet Negon swept away. That's a confirmation to the yellow card given to Alupo. Well, surprisingly, Roda chasing a ball and the ball chasing her too. That's surprising. 
Peru. Throw here for Bunyaru Guru. Trevor Zeruda. Given away, but uh, reposes perfectly. That was Kangume Daisy very much. Oh, nice flicking. And uh, <laughs> the striker Katushabe Halima yeah. picks up another uh, that is a uh, foul on the same area that has been hurting her there. Yeah, I think she has issues with the lower abdomen, uh, but the back also seems to be paining her. She touches but knows there is a task to accomplish, so she will look at that later as they try to go long. Bunyaruguru. Katushabe Halima loses possession. That's going to be a corner. Good defending there from uh, Daisy. And look at that collision of uh, Kangume up against uh, Gwen Juliet a while ago. That's a corner now. It's good pressure coming in from Bunyaruguru. They are fighting very hard to see if they can keep the pressure up. And this time it will be Adela Aine to deliver this one forward. Corner for Adela. Adela is corner. It's not a bad one, but straight to the arms of Chirunji. Diana, the goalkeeper. Very composed at the back, Diana. Good play from Naiman a while ago. Now swept away there by Nasana. Brushed in by Alupo. The chase is for Mbambo Bridget. And put away for another corner. The pressure has actually come from one side. And that is at uh, the right hand side that is putting a lot of pressure on the left. And that's a dangerous lady, Katushabe Halima. She has not been in glorious goal scoring form in the couple of games played just a few goals to her name oh, it was actually a throw in Halima Mbambo Bridget Mbambo overdoes it and just wastes the chance ball just goes away for a goal kick there yeah Bridget Mbambo and uh, Aini Adela plus Naimana Esther are some of uh, the new faces in the Bunyaruguru team because earlier on, you remember the first match, Bunyarugu did not have substitutes. They just got them as the matches went by. But now, I'm in great shape to make a very good team and a very good squad. Kings of Kings have to defend all the way. But they don't manage to keep the ball on the pitch. So, Bunyarugu will have a three in at the front field, taken very quickly to Negwen Juliet, who decides to play the ball back to... Kagasha Shadia and again the ball goes to no man's land. This will be a goal kick for the home team. Bunyaruguru have tried to ask a lot of questions and King of Kings has answered those halfway because apparently it's all been Bunyaruguri's attack and them trying to subdue King of Kings now trying to attack. Throw in. Chances continue to drive up, man. Uh, still waiting to see how far this will be rolling. Long ball away. And now calmly held up perfectly by Kabachari. Trying to drive that ball through. So the midfield level. Oliver away. Collected by Namaganda Esther, the goalkeeper here. 26 minutes played. 0-0 zero, zero in this one. And uh, to remind you, it remains goalless. Then we shall be going for penalties, but it may not. Halima here. There's that ball back behind. Aine Adela. But collected by Chirunji Diana. 
Walbunya Ruguru at the quarterfinals. King of Kings at the quarterfinals. Defended very well there by Akirol, who just allows it to roll out. But unfortunately, it's going to be a ball for King of Kings. Coach not very happy with Akirol, Irene. Why she left the ball to just roll out. I think she did know that it was going to be a throw in. Mm. That is very poor game reading from Akirol. Bringing problems for the side because you don't know what could come from the long throw in. Long from Caro. Booted away by Aine Adela. But they keep the chess on. Defended well by Caro again. Throw to King of Kings. So far, anything can actually still come from this game. The two sides continue to rove around as they look for a goal. Booted away. They're trying to look for the dangerous lady, Sharon. But trust me, the defense is standing tall. Aldrin Musimenta just putting that ball out for a throw in. It's pressure up here for King of Kings here. Trying to fight very hard to keep the action alive. Cementa. Referee was in the right position to actually see Naimana Esther handling that ball and they begin very quickly but repossessed again by Neguon. Alupo. Sharon does well. minutes remaining to play for rather not 11 getting confused with my statistics about 16 minutes to play way by Katusabe defended perfectly there by Naimana it's been a lot of fouls in this first 45 minutes Fiona yeah I think it's uh both teams trying to study one another and not willing to open up because when you open up you leave spaces for the opponent to hurt you Bunyaruguru have tried their best uh, to offend though also not been lucky with the final third as we have goalkeeper Kirunji come out of goal and save that day we never called but it's the first 30 minutes of the game are still locked at 0-0 zero zero. Sharon. Long ball away. But the defense of uh, Bunyaru Guru all standing tall, not giving away any kind of room and space. Collected well by Kagasha. Are oh, we another free kick? Well, the whistle has been blown more oftenly. She needs to watch her legs. That is uh, Kabugabe Karo throwing them onto the path of the upcoming players. Will be getting her yellow card if she continues to foul there. Oh, water break has actually been called in this morning match. Yeah, it normally happens between 31 and 32 minutes. And I guess as the levels are progress, that means that they will have to uh, follow some orders. The water break comes in. Uh, the players have a chance to refuel tanks, but also get better instructions from their coaches. I can see Nyanzi, Medi, just waiting to have a word with these players. 
as the Nyaruguru, as uh, that is King of Kings, also assembled next to their coach to try get something. I've been told Coach Rogers Ayesiga, a coach for Kings of Kings, has never lost a match facing Bunyaruguru girls. He's also the head coach for Toro Queens. But as considering what's going on so far after the 31 minutes played, you would think that Bunyaruguru have had the better share. They only need to put the ball behind the back of the net. Those are some of the exploits we saw in trying to look for that so badly in that goal. Chirunji had to be stretched in this one. One of the chances that went begging for Bunyaruguru girls football team. Oh, just reminding you that uh, King of Kings were the winners of Group A on top. They actually collected uh, six points from there as Bunyaruguru came number two in Group B with only also uh, six points right behind Rina's SS Women Football Club. It's a lot to play for. This is uh, an elite league which, has, uh, four, which had four groups from A to D and some of the teams that have qualified for the quarterfinal. King of Kings who are playing now. Dynamic Jeza who play later. Then we have Rines, Bunyaru Guru who are playing now. Amuria High play tomorrow and Ajax Queens. So those are the teams that, not forgetting Shima Runes and Wakiso Hills. Currently, Manuela Akol from Amuria with four goals and uh, Namwenke Benadets, Ajax Queens with four goals. Kiyomugisha Winnie from Shima Runes, four goals. Millicent Yamwembe, Shima Runes, three goals. So basically, those are the top scorers so far in the Elite League. Quarterfinals. That's today and tomorrow. The semi finals will be coming on a Tuesday, and the finals will be played on a Thursday next week. So we expect the Women's League to actually come to an end tomorrow, but this is Kanyikinya Sharon looking to go long. Not a bad idea, but that just uh, goes away for a goal kick. looking for something that's uh, <laughs> very awkward clearance but they'll try very much anything to get a goal this king of king ladies here way by Bunyaruguru a loophole already on a yellow card it's a free kick here it's a bamboo Bridget brought down Formation of that yellow card now. Mm, Given away to Jazzy 18, Kahiru. down away by Akiro Irene collected here by Katusabe long ball away from uh, Neymana <laughs> K 
Katusime holding it. And again, perfect play by Esa Naimana. Fortunately, the ball just goes away for a throw in here to King of Kings. First game now, second game will be at uh, 1 p.m. That's how busy the fixtures have been for the ladies' games here. Dropping ball forward now. Formation of that yellow to Kaheru. Away perfectly by Juliet Neguon. And there is a chase here from Katus Shabe. And, uh, Was she offside because I think she won the ball free and square? Here, just like the coach is wondering, I'm also wondering what happened. Katushabi Halima. I think good napping over there according to the referee. Oh, there was a handball. Yeah, there we go. She oh, controlled yeah. the ball with the hand. Oh, maybe that. Okay. Yeah. Nice call from the centre referee. Who was just a few yards away from Katusabe for the incident. King of Kings. Aldrin Musimenta. Doing the sweeping roll today. And clipped away by Naimana. Fighting spirit not very bad there from Kagasha. Onto the wing side. The driven ball through to the arms of Diana Kirunji. Very comfortable with her goalkeeping Diana. I think she's been the most busy keeper. I recall just a few times where Esther Namaganda has been called to duty. That shows you that Bunyaruguru may want to try and win their first game in the derby. That's good defense from Irina Kirol there. Alupo. Venturing forward now. Halima. Halima again. Ooh, she's clipped. And there could be a red card here. Kaheru Flores is already on a yellow. And to me, that is a bookable offense. Looks like the referee. Oh, she's actually picked up her pen. Here we go for you. This to me is a bookable offense. No doubt about that. There you go. Yeah, That's is, a bookable offense. It is, it is. Well, let's confirm on this. Oh. She has been forgiven. Looks like the referee may not dish out, but... Uh, oh, here we go. Is it coming out? If it comes if, out, it's she, a red she, card. She already has a yellow card, if I can recall. It's a red card. Yellow That's her second. Okay. Then red. And she's out. She's out. She already has a yellow card. Yeah, I, I actually thought that very well. She just failed to concentrate in this. And now, King of Kings are reduced to only 10 men. That's a bookable offense. No doubt about that. That's a yellow card uh, offense. There. That is clipping the heels of someone who was entering the box. There is contact. Well, she tried very much to go for the ball, but uh, very unlucky now. Nora Lupo. I like the way the referee gave out the red card. She was like, was like nursing a little child. And somehow, somewhere she got it. Nora Lupo for the free kick. Five minutes, good territory. Here comes Nora Lupo for this one. Tries to swing one through to the arms of good seed from Nora. Good goal there from Nora Lupo. Well, the goalkeeper, Kirunji Diana, tried to go for that, but a little bit high. And good celebration. Good celebration there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So they're in class right now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's a good celebration. Yeah, very good celebration. And I guess these guys practice that before the matches. But really, you could see them pushing, even without the red card. Munyarugura have been the better side. Take away the fact that they have never won this derby, but I think they are on their way. If they continue to do that, just look at the goalkeeper. Almost had fingers on it, but had moved inches up front. And the shooter knew where she wanted the ball to go. Oh!
Walker Heru on the red. Unyaru Guru leading. Uh, King of Kings are a goal down and a man down. Well, they have to put everything now to see if they can uh, consolidate themselves in this. Sometimes it's very difficult playing against a team that has nine men up front, or rather ten rather. Depending on uh, your kind of strategy. Evelyn Katusime. Sharon requesting. Evelyn holding. Slides the ball back behind. Pressure up. Ball still in possession. Bunyaru Guru looking very comfortable. Kabachi. Oliver. Nasana. Collected perfectly here by the King of Kings, but uh, the worst the opportunity just goes away to the goalkeeper Namaganda. She'll waste a few precious seconds on that. Namaganda, she has the right to do that. Yeah, look at her. <laughs> Away by Yester. Alima chasing. Alima gets a corner. And the coach wants Alima to be the one to deliver this corner. Everybody going into the goal mouth there. Corner kick for King of Kings. Sorry for Bunya Ruguru, rather. Corner. Long ball inside. It's brushed away. Sorry, kick just given away to King of Kings. Well, as speaks right now, it is uh, Penina Chererenzi was actually dropped to the centre. Nasana Shamira will be coming to the right wing of defence due to the red card given away to Kaheru. But now here comes more pressure in two, but over the bar. Fortunately, two players went for the same ball and. Uh, the result was the ball actually going way over the bar there. Yeah, anxiety and of course a lot of hunger coming in from Bunyaruguru. They know they could get their first win in the derby. They've already scored one and with King of Kings reduced to nine outfield with their goalkeeper, you realize that Bunyaruguru could use that chance to try get those shots in. King of Kings will have to defend this one as they... Fourth official shows one minute of added time. Bunyaruguru, Katusabe. Well, that was the earlier chance that was wasted there by Bunyaruguru, but here they pick up a free kick. Uh, time, time not the best of allies right now for. King of Kings to come back in this before the break, but it's going to be a free kick. It's a long ball through. Kabachi. Sharon. Kabachi. More play at the midfield level. Fighting spirit, not that bad there for the King of Kings, but they pick a free kick here. The striker, Kanyiginya Sharon, fouled. We're currently on borrowed time. Referee's borrowed time here. Irene! Irene! Are we safe? Long ball. Spatched away by the goalkeeper. It was very heavy there. 
from Sharon. She did very, very well. <laughs> and what does Katusime decide to do? Go for the goalkeeper, uh, try and see if he can. She could lose the ball that way. She apologizes. But anytime, I guess, a referee is stopping play. It's free kick here to Bujaruguru. The goalkeeper was actually fouled a while ago, Esther. And that's it. Referee does blow the whistle. Just 45 to an end. It's been a fair game for both sides. Very, very hard. Both sides trying very much to buy. Bunyaruguru who actually win this one currently by 1-0 and a red card to Kaheru in the 45. So that's how it stands. This is the chance that was actually brought through there by Sharon. It was a very, very good save there by the keeper. And Sharon will try to do more of that in the second half and see if she can bring her side back to the game. 1-0 in favor of the visitors and Bunyaruguru just got themselves a green ticket halfway to the semi-finals and you realize the king of kings coach is not very happy actually complaining about something to the referee but that is how it stands at the moment bunyaruguru leading well so for half time king of kings nil bunyaruguru won so we go for the break and we come back with the analysis and second half later What does it mean to be closer together? It's taking the last bus home for a surprise visit. Closer together is strangers finding a connection. It's bringing home something much more than a box. It's the warmth of home or the beginning of something new. There's magic in sharing the things that we learn because it's those things that bring us close together. We've cut and reduced our MTN Momo withdrawal rates. Now you can withdraw mobile money at the lowest rates. You also get MTN Century Points when you deposit, send and withdraw MTN Mobile Money. Visit our Momo agents countrywide and withdraw mobile money at our reduced rates from 1st May 2021. Everywhere you go, MTN. you'd realize uh, the first 20 minutes uh, each team didn't open up at all and there was something to play for apparently Bunyaruguru came into the game with poor statistics against uh, Kings of Kings they have never won uh, in that derby but in this game they have tried everything uh, cementing their play because the team that have plan A plan B plan C the pro line way the Barcelona way in quotes uh, pardon me for using that to try explain the kind of football they go for uh, you could see uh, that uh, today uh, they have tried to uh, make changes in the midfield because Adela 
is one of those that came in and Naimana, uh, those who didn't uh, feature regularly during the group stages and they have done them very well because Negwen Juliet has been a mainstay and I think she's helping out with uh, uh, the tracking down of opponents uh, getting in those through passes they persisted a lot uh, but then uh, for a uh, King of Kings uh, even uh, Kanyiginya Sharon who is their best player who was their best player at the group stages you could see today supply was cut off uh, the other Kanyiginya then they have uh, a Kabachari and uh, uh, I want uh, Nasana, yeah, who was operating on the right in the midfield. They failed to uh, man the midfield so well. Actually, Bunyaruguru bossed them and chased them away from the midfield. That's why today they have found it a little hard to try penetrate and get the goals they need. For Bunyaruguru, it's been taking the ball to their opponents and capitalizing on the mistakes. When they got the free kick, Nora Rupo had to put that in, and it gives them an edge at this time, given the fact they have already also uh, they have already uh, played and uh, made the opponents uh, get a red card. They are a player down. Yeah, um, uh, that player down is where I want us to talk next. Yeah. Um, uh, talk the two yellow cards. Yeah. Were yeah. they warranted? Yeah, um, I think for the referees when there is contact. Yeah, we know that the referee, like he keeps saying, yeah. the referee is the sole judge of yeah, facts. Yeah, it's the sole judge of facts. And so and it's about an opinion now we're talking about. Yeah. And we are free to discuss an opinion. Yeah, for me, uh, sometimes in football and considering that uh, the game is being developed, uh, it was a 50-50. If she had given the second yellow, yes, we go by the If she hadn't, I still because uh, uh, on first look, it looks a little bit hard uh, on Katusabi. But when you look again, you realize that uh, she went for the ball, uh, but in the process, clipped the heels. And uh, for me, if she had remained on the pitch, I would have no problem. So it was a 50-50 chance. And uh, apparently, uh, the referee, Habiba Nahigaga, decided that uh, she was no longer needed. So, uh, Burns, it is the player's fault. Because the first card looked a little bit, uh, a little bit weak. Uh, yeah. But then the second one, again, but you could see the way uh, she was nursing her before the red card. Because for me, I thought she had left it. They were just going in for a free kick. And all of a sudden, the yellow card came out. Then the red card. And the player walked off... Uh, uh, you know, in gallantly. yeah, gallantly in <laughs> some way, you know, convinced that yeah, now I'm going out. But it will uh, be very hard for a uh, King of Kings to try to come back from this uh, yeah. because they were already playing poor uh, with a compact eleven, and now they are ten. Uh, their goalkeeper sometimes not helping. You know, some teams use their goalkeeper as their yeah, sweeper. sweeper yeah. Uh, but this one, their keeper waits, uh, you know, for the time to chirunji. So you realize that the, it's a huge mile and a huge mountain for them to climb in the second half. Yeah, the referees out there watching us, you'll wonder why we talk of a uh, referee being a sole judge of fact and then talk about the, 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 the decision by the referee. We've seen games elsewhere because rules of football are, are changing. At times, even when you are the last man, as long as you tried an attempt to play the ball, as long as it wasn't, it wasn't a deliberate bringing down of someone, yeah. as long as you try to play the ball, the referee is very lenient on you. They will yeah. give the penalty and no yellow or even red yeah. card. Yeah. I think that's why we're talking about it. And we know yeah. something about it. it. The referee is watching their brand in Subuga may be watching. Yeah. Please, we are talking about that because we come from a very informed position in regards to the rules this and laws that govern football in, Uganda, in the world. an assessor, so he assesses everything. You must be watching this, yeah. Dupo okay. And the likes, uh, Dr. Ali Sabila. Yeah, I saw Raja Bakasambe yesterday in the Uganda Cup match between Proline and uh, Bull Football Club. So I know they are there and sometimes, that's why I told you that it was 50-50. If she gave it, let's yeah. go by it. If she didn't, because for me, uh, I realized that she intended to go for the ball, but yeah, then kept the heels yeah. in the process. And especially being women's football times, that one can be a little faster than the other. But anyways, that is that. Um, uh, kings of Kings must devise a way. And the guys watching us from Fort Porto City now, I know you're downtrodden, but don't mind about this. It may change in the second half, Fifi. Yeah. Yes. They've played badly in the first half, but yeah. we've seen teams play poorly in the first half, come back with 10 men and put up a posting that can give them a result. How can they do that with the manpower they have? Uh, I think because we've seen Abu Nyarugula have outplayed them. So what they can go, use the set pieces to your advantage. Because we've seen uh, keepers fumble with the balls that come in uh, from long distances, those that have energies on them. Because Kanyiginya has failed to penetrate and do what she does best because she can dribble, take the ball to the openings. Right now she's not receiving supply. So uh, use uh, the the traditional way get the balls from a distance try to shoot because they didn't even try to shoot at all oh, that, is, that is the foul still the holiday, yeah, as you took through uh, Ugandans yeah. through that foul yeah that cost the, the uh, and that is kings the of free kings kick. that is the free kick that resulted to a the, yeah. the, the that goal was by a bad moment Naro, for them. Nora they lost Lupo. a player at the same moment and, and lost then goal. Oh, my yeah, goodness. lost the ball at Nora Rupo but the keeper had chances of getting the ball yeah. I think she jumped a little too late had fingers on the ball but failed to handle it firmly yeah but uh, Majid Anantanda who is going to come to us for the second game has come here before and told us that goalkeepers 
straight through the super women the women super league up to where we are now at the elite league and by the way ugandans don't confuse the two the elite league is the second tier the super league is the one that is at the top that was won by lady doves she told us and she keeps telling ugandans that the keepers at both these tournaments are good one against one but long distance shots yeah they fumble them uh, but and you thought it's yeah. supposed to be the opposite yeah, just look at that huh? you thought that the ones on ones would be hard yeah and then the long distance would be easier because the ball comes in uh, full sight in full sight you have a very good vision from where it's coming from but i think that is uh, it comes back to a poor game reading because if you don't read the game well sometimes you're already in front as the ball comes what but this time if you see the goal if our producer edim west can try to uh, give us that again you realize that uh, uh chirunji who was within touching distance of the ball you could see the ball yeah, she, in between the fingers the palms in fact, i don't know if it were a male goalkeeper you would hear that guy shout my ball <laughs> but there was no way yeah, this guy that's a poor game reading yeah. which involves uh, communication they are not communicating so that is what is happening but Munyaruguru, i think uh, came into this game uh, trying to break the jinx that we've never won against uh, the uh, king of kings this time they are trying their best like you said it is not yet done but king of kings then need to double their effort need to double each player needs real they don't have a player and they have to help out uh, cover that position but the long shots will try let them test namaganda she's a bit bossy sometimes and a bully which sometimes you need as a character in goal uh, to try get your team the win yeah i know girls at times can become complacent i talk about them as girls be, indeed they are girls like uh, 50 uh, me, me and 50 some i think a few days ago talked about boys and men boys and men yeah you can be a man and but you still remain a boy so so these girls down there, the Bunyaruguru girls can become complacent in the second half. Fifi, how do you think they have to approach this? Because I know deep down in their minds, they're telling themselves it's 10 against 11. I've seen them playing with anger. Uh, actually, sorry, hunger, not anger. Anger is the uh, knowing and what, but hunger, the zeal is there. Mm. Uh, for them to approach the second half, I tell them continue doing what they do best, possess the ball. When you possess the ball, it means then you have a lot to do with it. Uh, give Katusabe because she's trying to be there. No Arupo, I like her. Nora or normally operates on the right hand but when the free kick was coming in she was caught on the left that is a switching and a versatility uh, between the players and I think they need to use that for their own advantage they have the best center half so far for me uh, in the group and apparently with Mosment and Akirol Irene clear, clearing everything you think Munyaruguru stand a chance to even go for a second goal before King of Kings will answer if you're joining us live on TV or on our various social media platforms I remind you it's the FUFA Women Elite League it's the second tier of women's football in Uganda we are at the quarterfinal stage. The team playing in white is Kings of Kings from Fort Porto City. The team in black in, playing in some kind of black is Bunyaroguru from Belize District. It's 1-0 for the team in black, Bunyaroguru. Quarterfinal action continues later today, but let's first remain with this Fifi. Yes. Um, uh, do you see any wariness or freshness from these teams after almost uh, uh, 20, 21 days of rest? Yeah, absolutely. It's there. Uh, you could see Katsabe this time making the runs a little very often. Uh, then you'd see uh, Kaya, apart from uh, Bunyaruguru closing down uh, the midfield of King of Kings, not allowing them to penetrate. But you, when you look even at the passes, uh, when you look at the way they are running, it's a little better than they did in the group stages. The second match, uh, when that fish show carpet had taken toll on them, yeah, you can realize there is uh, some freshness. And apparently, they even fresh legs uh, for Bunyaruguru. That is why they have been a better side all the time. Because remember, for them, they rested after King of Kings. You'd think King of Kings would be a little more fresh. fresh yeah. uh, but uh, for me, yeah, Vance, if you answer your question, uh, I realize, yeah, there is some uh, freshness, uh, some crop of that that you can't see on the pitch uh, within the 45 minutes that they have played so far. Yeah, of all the groups that play, have played down at the four men elite league, it's only Kings of Kings that qualified as number one on six points. Bunyaruguru qualifying out of Group B was on six points, but in second. Do you think that uh, this has come to really uh, um, uh, officially confirm that Group A was a little weaker than all others? Yeah, sometimes the permutations don't lie. And uh, when you qualify in second uh, position, sometimes there is the most zeal to show people that probably I should have got at the first position. But again, qualifying in second with six shows that there was a lot more competitiveness in Group B than it was in Group A. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes it's the way you hand and approach the game. And for me, Bunyaruguru have approached the game better in the first half than their counterparts in Kings of Kings. Um, do you think the girls are... There's, uh, there's talk, Fifi. Um, yeah. uh, F football, of course, misses the fans. Yes. Do you think the girls miss the fans as the, ma the men do? I don't think so. Uh, because normally, I would want to be reminded of a, f uh, a club match uh, that attracted about uh, 300 uh, fans. Wow. 
Okay, Fifi. Um, uh, let's put an end to that and go back to the stadium where the second half is just under. We remind you, Nyaruguru leads 1-0. If it remains that, like that, they go to the semi-finals. If Kings of Kings come back, we shall go into penalties. Well, it's still 1 0 in favor of uh, Bunyaruguru as they lead this one by 1 0. Amanyere actually coming in for Kangume. Yeah, and I think that is a message from the coach of uh, Kings of Kings uh, that they can uh, be a little more compact and better com composed at the midfield level because they have to chase the game from behind. Long ball forward by Bunyarikuru as they continue to drive up. We're looking to see if they can come back to parity here. Nice play and fight from Sharon. Holds that ball perfectly. Yeah, they come again. The one less, but the ball goes as far as Sharon is away. Don't think if she'll be able to receive that. Just goes away for a goal kick now. Oh, we can see the agency she's putting into the game here, trying to bring her side back to the game. The midfield flipped away by Sharon, collected perfectly there by Kabachari. Possessed perfectly by Caro. It's more pressure, more movement now. The chase is on. Easily put away there for a throw in now. Good start and very, very good pressure coming up here from Nyaruguru uh, as they continue to man up and try and get something from this game. Perfect play, production. There'll be a throw in. Long throw, flicked in, swept away there by Kabachari. Sharon. Long pass away. Right at the center of the pitch, that's where the free kick is. It's going to be a free kick now to King of Kings. And jazzy number 17. Well brought down very easily, Katusime Evelyn. The goal on uh, the 41st is the one separating the two sides. Goal scored by Alupo. That's the only goal we have had so far. It's an easy catch for the goalkeeper Namaganda. Away by Namaganda. It's going to be a throw for Bunyaruguru. Looks like the referee has given it to King of Kings here. Could have taken a slight uh, flick away, but Kabu, uh, that is Kabuk's Gabi Karo will be the one to drop that ball forward. Slight push, ball still in possession, but now goes out for a throw. Again, King of Kings. Better approach from them than they did during the first half. In the first half, you would see them struggling a little bit, but now they are trying to get control of the ball and use it amicably. Chess on by Katushabi Halima. Defended well there by Karo. Nice turning from Kabacha, that is uh, Kabachari. Put away by Kagasha Shadia for a throw in. Well, coming up later is uh, Rines SS up against Dynamic Jeza. That's, uh, that's the next game coming up at 1 p.m. Well, Rines were winners in Group B. They had a very good game. Just look at the coach wondering what's going on. He's a little angry. 
he knows what's at stake that they don't need to get tired as early as this they need to defend their goal and also to try to create another one this is good football there from Amanire trying to look for Sharon and defended well there by Musimenta just a 15 there not giving everything for fate and uh, making sure she defends gallantly Karo Kubugabe and uh, booted away again by Musimenta for another throw in here to King of Kings who have actually put a lot of pressure right now on uh, Munyaruguru it's just only five minutes of the second half played in here but uh, Munyaruguru has actually taken the ball more often to the other side oh now that's a sweet corner Send it away it was good height and good pressure on that they yield or can they lose? Still have the pressure on the ball straight up to the goalkeeper Namaganda. She loves to bounce and waste off a few seconds. She knows they need that urgently if they are to get the maximum points. Their goal and comfortable lead in the first half would be something they can use to build on to get and make better play in the second half. Throw in coming in from the left side just slightly above the center line by Roda trying to open up on a loophole but cleared away by Penina free kick now this will belong to the King of Kings as they put more pressure on Bunyaru Guru to open up well if King of Kings actually scores here to be an open game yet again well, let's wait and see what results from this it's away there by Abanire. And it's headed away perfectly by Musimenta. Now Bunyaruguru can break from the back. If they can, they're dropping that ball further wide. And the defense of uh, Katusabe Jennifer has not been performing poorly, really. Could be a corner. Good chase coming in from Katusabe. Actually, that is good pressure. It's a goal kick, right? Yeah, she realized the ball was a little bit far but decided to commit. And now Chirunji will ask her defender to help out with the distribution. Looking ball there, lead the way to the midfield. Collected very calmly. Dropping to the right now to Alupo. Alupo looks up with the cross now. Can they meet this? No, they can't. Uh, referee says there was some bit of a foul there, some bit of pushing. I think between Katsaba and the goalkeeper because, uh, not Katsaba, she came all the way from the midfield and is apologetic. Some Bambo Bridget. Yeah, Bridget who is operating at the midfield level. Actually, no, I think left striking role. Going to King of Kings. Well, this is the earlier chance that resulted into that free kick. It's confirmed this very well, whether there was a slight push. Yeah, there you go. Good run and good delivery there from Alupo. Very, very good delivery. <laughs> of the legs of Esther Naimana. Collected by Alupo. Away by Irene Akiroar. Flank up for the offside. Yeah, Katsaba has been caught more offside today than she tried to uh, register shots on target. But that is her strength. Uh, when you think she's offside all the time, at one point she could get it right and endanger your defenders. She also has a powerful shot that Chirund will find so hard to stop. Alupo Nora. Good skills from uh, All up front right now, Imana. Goal kick here for King of Kings. Salupo, ready right on the score sheet. In this match, leading by 1 0. A goal in the 41st minute, separating the two sides. Collected by Sharon. Kanyiginya intercepted at the midfield perfectly there by Niamana. 
Come on, compose his penny now. Terezi. Sharon. Sharon again. Trying to lift that ball forward. Defended well by Musimenta. Well, she looks all alone in the game today. Can you give Sharon? He has been deserted, but it's the good planning from Bunyaruguru. When you deny them the midfield, it means they will have nowhere to pass the ball to her. So she has to chase winning this one in particular, Sharon. Sharon. Set to whistle up. No, the referee has blown that. Throw in for the King of Kings. Hold on. Off the camera incidents, don't exactly why the whistle has been blown. Would have been seeing that, but. Uh, here we go, they are supposed to be a substitution. Don't know why we had to delay with pictures on that. Oh, Gabe. Ball dropped forward. And we saw yet again is for the foul. King of Kings will be making another substitution. They've already made one. And they'll be looking to make us. I think her name could not be on the list. Could be a problem with the jersey number. Yeah. Seeing that in this competition, really. I think they tried to... Uh King of Kings attacking. They have been the better side since uh, restart of uh, this half. But then they are caught napping Sharon, trying to make ends meet. But apparently cannot be helped by her teammates. Munyaruguru can now break. The poor one twos there as they drive up through. Playing ball on the far side, looking to pick up on uh, Imana. Push away for a throw in. Throw be brought in quickly by Tumweba Zeruda. Does deliver that ball. And the referee says there was a foul throw from Roda. Approaching the hour mark shortly. Uh, the coach looks very concerned here. Yeah, Coach Ayeshiga is a little deserted. You know he's having a record to protect, having never lost against Bunyaruguru. But then coaching two teams at once is something that is dangerous. Because you cannot coach Toro Queens and then King of Kings. Sometimes your attention is divided and you may not give to every team that it needs. That's why for me I think that also should be looked into. I saw that with um, Livingstone in Babazi was one time a play of one de Gea, but also as a coach I think of one de Gea and a play of Bright Stars. One of the two, uh, one of the reverse is all true about that. And Fufa did ask him before they played against one another to decide you either play or you a coach. It helps for concentration purposes, Peter. Kirunji. It's a misfire. Still in the dangerous possession. And again, run away by Sharon. She can beat them with speed, Sharon. She's very pacey. Up again is Kagasha. And uh, the referee wants a word with Kagasha. And Kagasha will definitely have to go to the book of the referee. There you go. You look at you. Karo Kagasha. Yeah, Kagasha knows the strength of Sharon. You let her go the next time that ball could be in the back of the net. Oh, there is a good cross coming in because Sharon is such a fantastic player. 
you don't allow him space and I think she decides to take one for the team and receive the uh, yellow card gallantly. Free kick to be delivered by Sharon Kanyikinya. Shall we try to go for goal here? And a wasted opportunity, but again, not a bad idea, really. It's reminding you that uh, Bunya Ruguru scored from almost such a position there. And uh, Sharon had wanted to do almost the same thing. It's away by Katusabe. And... Uh, Yellow card also shown to Nasina. Alupo to the byline inside the box. Mastered it. away, yeah. I think good opportunity and good defending, good defending and things coming in from King of Kings. Otherwise, you let her cross. Katsabe is waiting. Well, now there will be a change in strategy, possibly, and the right name will be forwarded for substitution. It's been a problem when it comes down to substitution there. The football that was coming in was denied entry a while ago because I think of a uh, name not tally with the number. Yeah. Kabugabe. Prisia Atulinda is one of those that is being uh, prepared to come in for King of Kings. That is shot 10 for you. Pressure up. The Kings lose possession. And stolen off the legs of uh, Nasana. <laughs> Oliver loses possession. Even away looking for Katusabe Halima. Undefended well again. Well, trust me, even if they are trailing, but they are putting everything to the game. Nice long pass on the far side. Looking for Mbambo. It will be a throw to Bunyaruguru. Maybe they will have a chance to have a substitution right now, King of Kings, if they can. Away by Roda. Roda doing well there. Dropping that ball forward. Bambo was a miscue, but uh, away to the goalkeeper Diana. 27 minutes remaining to play for, and looks like Bunyaruguru, if all remains like this, will be getting themselves in that semi final place if they can. But there's a run from Alupo, she's on side, she does cross, and she scores a second. Well, this could be done and dusted. And look at the celebration. She just cannot believe she scored a second today. Peter, did she <laughs> mean to cross or score? She looked as though she was crossing that ball. Yeah, I also thought she was crossing, but she's second time lucky again the celebration. They're in class. Somebody is teaching. Well, that is the goal for you. Yeah, she meant to go for goal. Yeah. She meant to go for that. When you look, yeah, when you look at where she was looking, but then Negueni's through pass is also exquisite, and the finish from Alupo Nola. What was substitution, Wali? Oh, Nora does well for the visiting team, and Bunyaruguru are cementing their result today. So Prisia can now come on. Atulinda Prisia has managed to come on for Katusime, for Kings of Kings, the restart. It's 2 nil. Nyaruguru in the driving seat here. Nasana. Sharon. Collected very calmly at the midfield. Swept away there by Kabakcha. Uh, that is Kabachari. Oh, a throw again to King of Kings. Just about 26 to play for. Approaching 20, uh, actually 25 now to play for. 
Priska. Atulinda. Corner. Another chess. Here comes a Lupo looking for the hat trick. Whoops. If it was on target, that would be something else. Yeah. Naimana got a yellow card earlier on in the midfield for Bunyaruguru Football Club. Actually, that's on Bunyar King of Kings. So pardon me on that. And then there is another substitution for Bunyaruguru. Well, the defender Kagasha Shadia. Yeah, Shadia is being brought off because she has a yellow card. And they are protecting her from being sent off because they have a comfortable lead and they have the numbers. This one controls with the arm, Sharon. But a referee lets that go. They are attacking. King of Kings could get a chance to get the consolation. Well, they keep the ball on play perfectly. Atulinda. Chance away now. Sharon in the box with a strike. And ball just goes away for a goal kick. Trying very much to bring herself back in the game, Sharon. And Lupo's two goals. Actually, yeah, this was the opportunity. His second. No, that was the yeah. other chance and poor goalkeeping this time <laughs> from Diana. I don't know what she wanted to do with the ball. That is like trying to bat it out like they do in cricket. You don't go with such a tactic in holding a ball that comes in load driven. Bunyaruguru have the advantage in the midfield right now. Trying to attack through pass looking for Anora Lupo. Right in front of the referee, that's a handball, and will be awarded. Began quickly, Nasana loses out and swept away, but not very away. Had, no, it's a Halima, they are trying to get something for herself. And uh, confirmation of the sub, Ashaba coming in, and again, uh, Halima having a problem. Shivana Shaba will hop out at right back. Katusabe Halima having a problem as the opposition coach for King of Kings has a lot of homework to do. He knows he has about 22, and those are the minutes he has to score two goals or more to get past Bunyaruguru. Remember, he's a player down. The Bunyaruguru players can now refuel their tanks. It, has, it is advisable, they don't take a lot of water. Just look at this bench. I think they have sent most of the players to go warm up. Though we are all aware that they didn't take big squads. It was about 16 players, sometimes 15 or 17, depending on the number of officials you'd also present for the tournament. But the required number was officially 16. Coach Nyans Medi will now have time to address Akirol, Audrin Mosimenta, and uh, Roda, who is his captain at left back. Of course, it's like this is theirs to lose because they've done everything right from first and second half. King of Kings took the game to them. But the beauty about their defense is they didn't allow Katsabe walks off again injured like she did in the last group a stage game. And I think they will need a substitute to come in for her. She has even removed her shoes. One of their best players, Halima. That is bad for them going forward. They should pray. She is back for the semi-finals if they make it through to the next stage. But that is the beauty of Hunyaruguru. If Katsabe is not doing well, then Alupo Nora will present herself for the moment and today she's the reason as to why they have two goals in Bunyaruguru. The referee is about to resume play.
Long ball forward, defended very well there by Ruda. It's bouncing right there and swept away by Ashaba. Now a loop on the chest. But again, King of Kings coming back to defend perfectly here. 20 minutes remaining to play for. It's only 20 minutes to go. We're looking to see what comes in from this throw. Even if there's a slight delay, but uh, she's a lady of the moment. A loop on Nora. A Shaba for throw. Well, the whistle is just going up all the time, nothing really to talk about in this one. This free kick began quickly by Bunyaru Guru, trying to open up a look for Lupo. I think Bunyaru Guru have improved at each stage. When you look at all their matches in the group stages, they lost the first one. If I recall, so it was against winners. Need to recall that very well. Then you realize that they tried to come back during the second and comfortably won the last one. When you realize they have changed a lot of play and now a little more comfortable, look more fresh than the team that rested before them, and are handling each department the way it should be. Sharon Chair says, but Sharon will not be allowed to get the ball because the referee's whistle signals for an offside. And Bunyaruguru can breathe at the backside. Sharon there, one of those that have been tremendous in the tournament, but looking likely to pack her bags today because the team may not make it through. Collected at the midfield by Neymana and defended very well. To be a double substitution now for the King of Kings and also Bunyaru Guru will be trying to make another sub. Throw by Roda. Be a foul throw if I'm not mistaken. Or a free kick. Let's confirm on this. Yeah, it's a free kick. Well, Angelini, Angelite Karunji in 21 and Lukia Kahua in 16 will be the players to come on for King of Kings. <laughs> Get from a lupo, swept away by Caro, and collected and left in by Altulinda. This is Nasana, who also loses possession. A lupo, Aymana. Well, there will be a substitution for the goalkeeper, Chirunji Diana. Oh, she's actually going back at now. She's confused. Okay. She'll be the one getting out. Yeah, confirmation of that. She'll be getting out. So there will be change in goalkeeping. And I think that is a wrong move, unless she's injured. Because for a team that already is down by a player, 
who was sent off earlier on. That means that you need to use the, your outfield up players very well. But then if you decide to bring off your goalkeeper, that means that Oliver Kemigisa, another goalkeeper, will be coming on. But yet I saw Angela Itkarunji and Lukia Kahwa also on the bench. No Arupo there on your screen. He's the player today who should be player of the match. She's done everything bright in her powers to get Bunyarugura ahead. Her two goals, a good free kick and a sublime finish. Water break. Yeah, it's a water break cast up now, and of course, uh, the goals uh, from Alupo, the former footballer of uh, Lango Queens, there currently on loan all the way from the, the Lady Doves. Her goals are the ones separating the two sides. Yeah, that second goal was so nice. Very good goal it was. Well, the cross was super. And the finish is also very beautiful. Good goal. Very good goal there. Well, the game will resume in 13 minutes. Remaining to play for. Another player to be brought on for Bunya Ruguru, and I think that is for game management. That is Susanna Paire, who will be coming in the midfield for more numbers and to manage the game a little more to their own advantage in Bunya Ruguru. Two balls on the pitch. But we only need one. Sharon makes sure one is off as the throw in goes to King of Kings. Karunji will be delivering this, but uh, Katushabe is out. And Atire. Susan has come on in her place. That means that they will go now for a 4 4 2 system as that Hyre will be adding numbers onto the midfield. Throw began quickly by Karunji. And a free kick awarded there to Bunyaru Guru. I'll be smiling the, uh, the way to the next round, the semi-finals, as they wait to find out who they will play with. Or oh, against, really. Swept ball from uh, the back coming in from Katusabe Jennifer. And that's the confirmation. Kemegisa, the goalkeeper, replaced by Chirunji. Sorry, Chirunji. And also the other substitution made. Eleven and counting. Bunyaru Guru leading 2 0. Roda in the box there. Family defended very well there by Atulinda. And that goes for a throw in now to the King of Kings as the coach is very disappointed with the performance of the ladies today. Cherezi. Call for the handball, not awarded. Now here comes Alupo with the run. Alupo flicks it back here. Shows it very well, turns very well again. Alupo tries to take on two players, but she can't. 
uh, very lucky that the ball rolls away for a throw in now to Bunyaruguru. <coughs> 10 minutes. Shaba, that's a foul throw, really. You can see it from here. Control. Go! Go, go, play! Very big ball there from Naimana. Bouncing right over there, collected perfectly by Aine. Trying to call this through to Alupo, but she's offside. Yeah, she's looking for her hat trick here. She wants to score so a hat trick can get the ball. Then in a cherry resi. Driven long. Brush deep down to a loophole. Change of strategy now to the wing. This is good as they look for more. Finally, gotten away from the back. Go, go. Aine to the wing side. Roda tries to beat one but can't and flipped away. Repossessed at the midfield. Collected calmly. Aine Adela. Well, oh, that's a very big one from Musimenta. Looking for a Lupo. Crosses it deep. That's a wasted header. That goes away for a goal kick. But again, good movement of the ball there from Bunyaruguru. Yeah, whenever they attack, you think there is something in their attacks. For King of Kings, the attacks have always ended premature. Something that has eluded them from scoring the goals they need. It is eight minutes to go, and Bunyaruguru continue to be so hard at the midfield level. But I just love the way they stick to their style of play. No matter what happens, they are going forward. No reset. Alupo calls it back. The referee says that had actually crossed the line for a goal kick. Well, they are currently utilizing the wing of Alupo really very much. Where all those, all the crosses are coming from. Can they keep the ball on play? No, they cannot. Goal kick now to King of Kings with about seven minutes of no more time to play for. And also reminding you that uh, the Uganda Sun Cranes were actually beaten at the semi finals over the Afcon competition, beaten by Mozambique. For 6 3. Alupo. Poor cross. Well, like we saw coming a little bit late for the offside, really, on Alupo. Yeah, also, yeah, you realize it came way, way after the incident had happened. That is now derailing the tempo at which both clubs are playing. Give it away. More driving and more movement. Scratching ball away, but stopped away there by King of Kings as they continue to press on. Clock running deep down. Six minutes remaining to play. King of Kings nil, Bunyaru Guru two. Again. 
Throw in. Throw to be written by Ashaba now. Let's it calmly, but swept away here by King of Kings. We're looking at least for a consolation goal. They have five minutes to get that if they can. Well, even with one man less, they're still keeping possession of the ball. Good play there from Sharon. That's a super cross if they can reach it. Free kick. Don't ball away. Collected calmly. Here they come again. And that's a one weird chance from Atuhairi trying to get the goalkeeper off a line but not utilizing that very well Neguan Juliet dropping that ball farther flag remains down here looking to deliver a big one but again very disappointing from Bambo Three minutes remaining to play for. The way the game continues, a loophole. Trying to receive the one two there, but nothing coming from that. Collected perfectly now. And repossessed here by King of Kings. How they use the ball is the question. Arena Kiror. We're having to defend the last minutes. The two goals are enough to push them to the semi finals. King of Kings have struggled, though maintained good play, but have failed to penetrate the final third of their opponent. Alupo Nora plays the ball to no man's land, and now King of Kings will try to use this chance to attack from the midfield. Neguen Juliet chases. Ball away and away is time from Katusabe Jennifer. Time running out for the King of Kings players. up as the game is still very much a lot in here on the chest now it is Bunyaru Guru Bambo they win a free kick late in the half but Mbambo was a little careless because she was all alone and had the time to switch that ball and only waited for an opponent to come through they have a free kick. Nora Alupo will be the one to take this. I think she's going for goal to see if she can score a hat trick. There'll be a free kick begun quickly. Ooh, straight to the keeper. And Alupo trying to get that hat trick. Away by the keeper. Well, Bunyaru Guru looking to make a final sub. Yes, and uh, Aisha Nachint will be coming on. I think that is purposely to waste time. 
and manage the game even a little better because we are yet to see the referee shows a two minutes of added time so those are the minutes Nachi into will have to use if she's to come in. Press, press up. Again, press. Hey, hey. Susan, hey, you call out. Put that there, no. Mistakes at the back have cost King of Kings this result. Even now, when they urgently needed to come back in the game, they have instead given it to their opponent. Well, two minutes added up here. The only thing that uh, Bunyaru Guru should do is uh, try and calm down the situation. Nashin to now come in for that last minute involvement. Aine has come out after exploring the midfield so well for the visiting team. I don't think Nachint will hold this ball for even a second. For a kick. The, the last action of the match right about now. Long ball forward. Referee takes a look at her watch. And she does blow the whistle to bring this encounter to an end. King of Kings have been eliminated from the quarterfinals by Bunyaruguru. And trust me, it was a day for Bunyaruguru here. And King of Kings will be very disappointed of being beaten tonight. But Alupo's two goals are the ones that guaranteed Bunyaruguru a place in the semis. What an iron. The first team to qualify for the quarterfinals is the first team to leave before the semi-final stage. Well, that happens. That coach has lost for the first time against Bunyaruguru. He will not be happy with the records broken. But for Bunyaruguru, good persistence, consistency, and good reliability on different players realized Katusabe was a little ill, so they decided to use Nora today as the dangerous player, and she doesn't disappoint. They head to the tunnels with heads high and waiting on which opponent to welcome between Rines, who is coming later, and dynamic football team Jeza that will be coming your way at 1 p.m. Well, there you have it. So this game actually ends. Uh, King of Kings 0, Bunyaruguru 2. And of course, for Bunyaruguru, it is a place in the semi finals. Uh, and uh, they're waiting to see who of the other teams will be joining them in there. But for now, it's the break and then the wrap up over the entire match. Don't go away.